Hello students, um, hope you are good. Welcome to this episode of um, XS, SS1 lecture. Actually, um, we are considering mesuration of plane shapes. We have started this um, series before and uh, we have taken a look at the concept of um, length of an arc, the concept of length of an arc, and um, the formula for the area of, of a sector as well. But since we have divided the episodes into classes, we have shared them based on classes, so we are going to um, take this as our episode 1, so we can build up from here. Now, in this particular episode, we are going to solve this question, so it's um, kind of a continuation of what we, from where we stopped on that measuration. This lecture is also useful for those in SS2, SS3, and those preparing for YX, so you can also brush up your knowledge there. Now, this question says, from this given shape, we are to find the area. We are to find the area of the shaded portion, and um, you can see it clearly. You can see it clearly that we are having a, a big sector. We are having a big, big sector and a small sector inside as well. So now we are asked to find the area of the shaded portion, and this shaded portion is in between the small sector and you know the big sector so a portion of the big sector is shaded and um, we have a portion of the small sector that is the small sector which is not shaded now we're asked to find the area so how do we do this first of all just to do a review of the formulas um what's the formula for 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 finding the area of a sector we have already established that the formula for area of a sector is given as what area by arrow square multiplied by what theta divided by 360 and then just to revise the formula for length of an arc I'll say the length of an arc is what 2 pi arrow theta over 360 and I have also explained how you can recall these formulas without stress so for you to get that if you, you, just in case this is your first time watching our lectures here you can just go back to the channel uh, and um, search for the video on length of an arc an area of sectors just watch that video you understand some other things there All right now we are going to dwell on this because we are dealing with the area now we since we are asked to find the area that's the formula we'll be using so we'll go back to our question for us to then look for how we are to find the area so when you are giving any question first of all you have to understand the question and how do you understand the question you do that by analyzing the question so you can know where to start from good now we have a big set of we can call this we can call this entire sector 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 2 this entire sector we can call it what sector 2 that's the overall sector and then just this small sector we can call it what sector 1 and this is what sector 2 so for us to get the area of this um, shader portion you can see the shader portion is in between you know the big sector and sector 1 Good. so if it means if we can find the entire area we can find the entire area of this sector like this that is the area of sector 2 and then we are able to we are able to what to remove the area of um, the area of this from it which is the area of the smoke sector if we are able to remove it from it eventually we will be left with what we will be left with this you can see it good so that means the solution to this question is simply to see the area of the shaded portion hmm? will be what the area of sector 2 minus the area of what sector 1 so that's what we are simply going to do to get the area of the shaded portion now you can see again from the diagram we have a common angle the common angle is what 60 degrees that's the common angle i'm saying it's a common angle because this, this angle is what sustains sector one and sector two so if, if we are use if we find theta in, in, in the formulas for sector one and sector two we use 60 degrees there and then we have the radius given the 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 we have the radius of sector one given and we have the radius of sector two as a combination of sector one and uh, the the, this other part here so this other part is another radius which one we combine it with what the radius of sector one 
um, we will have the we have the overall radius for set two. Uh, I, I hope you understand. So this is how you analyze mass questions and then you solve them. Okay, now so we we'll move over to what the solution. Solution. So we are seeing the area area of sector two, which is the big sector. So sector two is what is the big sector. So it's given by what pi arrow square theta over 360 so we are going to solve this in terms of pi meaning we will leave pi in our answer now the radius is going to be the sum of the small radius and the extension okay now you can see from the diagram we are having um, the small radius to be what 3cm as the radius form remember you can take this to be the center of the cycle you can assume this is the center of the cycle right and this is the first radius which is 3 cm and there's an extension up to this point that is what 4 cm so it's this extension that produces the radius that produces this what this arc that forms the big sector so the big radius which we are going to use for the area of the big sector which is what sector 2 will be 3 plus 4 and that will give what 7 so that's how we actually got this 3 plus 4 give me 7 cm so we are using 7 cm for the radius 7 square and the angle we said the angle is 60 degrees divided by 360 so we are going to compute this with um, a calculator and we have an answer in in terms of pi we have an answer in terms of pi and that, that will give um, that will give 8.16 8.16 or approximately 8.2 pi so the answer is in terms of pi that means pi must be in our answer so then we we'll move next to the area of sector 1 so area of sector 1 or which is the small sector the small sector so the area will be what pi arrow square theta but this is the, so the reason that will change is what the, the value of the radius so here we are using that small radius which is what 3 3 squared times what 60 divided by 360 and then we we'll complete our uh, we we'll complete the calculation with our calculator or we can just simply say 9 times 60 um, divided by 360 uh, to get our answer there so having done the calculation anyway you want to do it and then you put in your value and we'll get the value of what 1.5 pi 1.5 pi so now since the value of the small sector is 1.5 and the area of the big sector overall sector is 1 is 8.2 so it means that the area of the area of the shaded portion here yeah, the shaded portion be what 8.2 minus 1.5 so 8.2 um, minus 1.5 will leave us with the value the value of 6.7 6.75 so remember there's there's a pi here and there's a pi here hmm? so our final answer will have what pi so 6.75 and that gives us the um, value of the area of the of the shaded portion all right so this is how you can solve for the area of a sector um, now there are several other questions that we can that we can attempt there are several other questions that we can attempt or that we can solve uh, for us to practice and get this concept better now you take this for your assignment we have question one there is um, you have this diagram here having a sector opq having a sector having a sector um opq and then that's the that, that's the minor sector so we also have the major sector here so just the way we divided the other diagram into two sectors so we have um, sector one and then we have sector two so sector one is this sector and uh, sector two sector two is um, this sector so just to give you a clue that's uh, sector two and uh, one of them is the minor sector and the other is the major sector i've explained um, minor sector and major sector 
um, in one of our previous episodes when we began this concept. So the major sector is the bigger one, the minor sector is the smaller one. So you just uh, find the area of the major sector. You find the area of the of the, of the major sector. Okay, you need the radius to solve this question. You need the radius, so take the radius as four. Four cm. So you use the radius of four cm. Four cm calculate the value of the area of the middle sector. Arc of a cycle of radius six cm is eight cm long. Find the area of the sector. So you have to find the area of this of, of the sector. So you have to draw the diagram and then understand it first before you begin to solve. So that is the as how you are going to solve this particular question so make sure you submit your answers to the group chat the link to the group chat is on the description is in the description make sure you also like the video and share with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that you can also get other videos and i believe um watching the episodes you'll be able to learn a lot from this channel so do well to recommend this channel to your friends so they can also participate and learn as well and also remember that jesus loves you and is coming again so you must be prepared and if you have not given your life to jesus you are living a life of risk and you have to do that so that um, when jesus christ come in the rapture you will not be left behind to suffer in the world if you believe in um the word the bible have said so you have to be safe by giving your life to jesus even as you are learning mathematics in our next episode stay blessed